quick. We're going to take off runway 26 left. If we get up to 1,000 feet, we're going to make a right turn, and you'll enter a right downwind for runway 26 left. I'm up to 1,700 feet, which will put you 1,500 feet above the airport elevation. You can roll out the wings level. Now we're going to enter our downwind, so start your right turn. And when you go roll out on downwind, we'll look for the runway off to the right. Now looking outside over the nose of the airplane, there you go, get a little perspective of the altitude and attitude. We're pretty close to our pattern altitude. And just hold it so that the height between the glare shield and the horizon is about the same all the way around. We can roll wings level now. Looking for the runway over there. Don't See the sink. runway in sight? Don't sink. You're doing okay. You're only about 100 feet off on altitude. There's no problem. So we're just about two and a half miles from the airport. We're starting moving our eyes down the runway now. We're going to look toward the middle of the runway. Okay. And as we get over to the approach end, I want your eyes to be fixed on the very end of the runway. Now look at the end of the runway. <laughs> and when we hear 30, 30, we'll put a little back pressure. 20, 20 begin to 10. flare. 10, I bring it to idle. Hold the nose at the same attitude. Now just hold that attitude. Hold. That's all right. Hold the attitude. I'll bring the, I'll bring the thrust up. Just put the nose on the ground, and we'll get our thrust going. Okay, you can make a smooth rotation again. Right up to that 15 degree attitude. You have a positive climb. Here. Are you going to beat me, Justin? <laughs> uh, of course. You, you <laughs> come mid position and then I'll advance it for you. Just about there, we'll hold, hold it right there until the engine stabilizes. I have the thrust. You're looking outside now. You can repeat and steer down the center line. Take off thrust and set. Okay, rotate Eight smoothly. One. Start your rotation up towards the horizon. Looking outside. Take your rotating. Now go down to the PFD and put that up to 15 degree position. Well, the point, you're right. Bring your nose down a little bit, Justin. It's going to wind time when the flaps come out. Your attitude out there should be the same. You should hold that constant attitude. Right there. That should always be the same. Okay, your attitude's good. There you go. Okay, our time's out. Let's start a right turn. I'll bring our flaps to 30. Center speed. And we'll just get a little bit of a descent going now. Just nice plenty of bank. Bring the nose down. Just so that little square sets on the two degrees. That's the first line right there. It's two degrees. Just keep it at two degrees. Right there. Level. We're going to look for the airport approach in and departure in. When we see the departure in, we're going to project it through the front of the airport center, and that'll show you your line for final, okay, the track. Right. Okay. Keep your nose down about two degrees, put it right on that two degree line. Get a little bit high here. And let's bring it down to the horizon now. We're just a bit high. Okay, now start your right turn looking at the runway. That's it. Let's hold it right at two degrees on the on the above the horizon. Up, up, two degrees above the horizon. Two degrees. Up. That's it, right there. That should keep us close enough to glide fast. We're a little bit low. You can help you out here just a little bit. You can bring your left wing down. And we're getting a little bit low, so let's bring our attitude up just a bit above the horizon about four degrees there until we can see that happy light change color. It takes about half as much aileron as you're using, just a little bit of input. Okay, 
hold your attitude right there until we can see the flight change. In case we're coming on by. See it there now? Yep. All right, now down to two degrees. Bring it right on down to two degrees above the horizon. Hold that attitude right there. Keep it right on the two degree line. That's good. Exactly on glide path. Nose is a little high. And I think you're going to be a little high on this one, Justin. You're probably going by below us there. <laughs> we would make a mad dive, but we'd probably run off the end. So we invited Kelly and Justin down to our Gatwick Center where we'll be bringing our 787 into the center next year and we put them both in the simulator and uh, at the end of the day Kelly outperformed Justin in the simulator which just goes to show you there's wonderful opportunities for women in aviation to become great pilots.